what do you make of that play from Sam Hubbard there? I love the <laughs> that defense. You know, you just that, that's why you just never never give up on a drive. It's even when, the, when it's down there and inside the two. Um, that's what our defense is really. The low red zone really over the last couple of years has been awesome from our defense, and today was no different. But for Logan to knock that ball out, Sam to Sam to finish it off 98 yards later. Um, really changed the momentum of the game because you're looking at a 14-point swing right there, going down seven, going up seven. Um, you know, we were, we were it was a challenge on offense, certainly. Um, it's one of the better defenses we face all year, and so we knew that going in, and, and our defense really carried us in the fourth quarter, and uh, we needed that. Zach, uh, obviously, I'm sure you're probably waiting for some time, Jonah, but how would you assess the state of your offensive line now with Elsie done for the season, Kappa, Penny, speaking return? Yeah, fighting. I, I assess them as they're fighting, <laughs> giving us a chance. And then you say next man up, the way you lose three three starters down on the offensive line. Yeah. How much does that take away from your playbook? You know, like not just you know just being comfortable with some of the stuff because you haven't repped it with probably that group specifically. Well, that, that's the most challenging part is just getting the reps in there because a guy like Jackson's got to rep both sides, um, you know, and it's impossible to predict where you're going to have to go in first. So, uh, you know, that's the thing going going forward. With, we'll see who's who's available and healthy. Um, do our best to rep them and, and get them going. What is it about this defense? And I mean, because they were on their heels, I think, a little bit there, dealing with Huntley and stuff, and then in the fourth quarter, yeah. not only the Hubbard play, but all the stops. Yeah, I mean, just just the second half in general this entire year. You know, that's really been the storyline for our defense is is rising up and 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 really just um, not allowing the defense, the offense to have anything. And, and so for our offense to be able to get in rhythm and, and be able to score points, but, but our defense just second half has just been fantastic. Today was no different. Um, and it's good to see that they, they brought that second half defense to the playoffs also. What's the Ravens? I was just saying, the Ravens uh, didn't really, I mean, they just gave you nothing. I mean, it was all on the knee, right? Yeah. I mean, is that, have yeah. you ever seen a Ravens defense play like that for a whole game? I mean, um, they do a good job. You know, they, they got a lot of healthy guys up front that rotate through there. Their backers, are, I mean, they're really, they're good at every level of the defense. And so um, they make you earn it. They're not going to give up any explosives. That, that's the biggest thing. They're going to go to the field. That's why our, our drives were so long, you know, so many plays, because every time we played them, all three times we played them, all of our drives have been, you know, over 10 play drives. And so, um, and, and it, you know, it's strange. It was a strange game. You get three possessions in the first half. You know, we got our third possession there with like, Four minutes left in the half, it felt like, and um, that's just what it is. Every every possession is so critical. That's why those those turnovers, those two turnovers we got on defense, really, it's it's the game. We win the turnover battle, two to one. That's why you win the game uh, in a game like that, and and there's no secret sauce there. Zach, it seemed like one of the critical moments of the game was Jonah goes down. I'm sorry, yeah, Jonah goes down. Um, you hold them to a field goal right before halftime, right? You get a one point lead, and you get off the field defensively to start the third quarter and yeah. go down for the touchdown. Can you talk about with everything swirling around the team, uncertainty, how critical that period Yeah, that, that is a, that's a critical stretch right there because they stole those points before the half and they were going to get the ball first. And so it was it – was, um, it was so big for our defense to come out with the stop to start, and then for our offense to immediately respond with a with a touchdown drive, um, an eight point drive. And so, really, that that's what allowed us to regain the momentum. Um, we may have lost the momentum there before that last turnover with Sam and Logan, but uh, you know that was, that was big to have that momentum going in the second half, knowing that you were not going to have a ton of possessions. Did that make a difference? Do you think to the halftime? Speech. I mean, like, was the out? Was there deflated at all? No, no, not deflated. I mean, it's three possessions each. I mean, it was, it was, uh, strangest. You know, it's not because that's how it was the first time we played them. But um, no, I think everybody at halftime knew that that that's not an unexpected way for that game to be ten to nine at halftime um, with limited possessions. That didn't surprise anybody. What did you see on Keen Davis Gator's interception? And even though he only plays so many snaps, it seems like he's always around the ball. Yeah, he was in great position there and secured the catch and. Um, you know, I didn't see how it finished. I know they rolled him down way back there, so I didn't see how that fell out. But when they throw him to you, you got to catch it. That's half the battle, and he did a great job there. Zach, your defense finds a way, but I mean, you would have liked to close the silent offense. You had three different opportunities to do so. Or is there yeah. concern about that, frustration around that, that, that you weren't able to put it away the way you wanted to? Well, certainly. I mean, you want to be able to, to help the defense out more. And even if it's not putting points on the board like we want, just better field position, you know, and not have them be able to return a kick and, and with the penalty uh, be beyond the 50. And and there was there was different reasons why some of those drives stalled, stalled out. One of them was a holding penalty that put us way back on the 10. Um, other ones, we were close and just didn't quite quite get it done. Um, but again, all that matters at this point is winning and <laughs> being able to fix it this week and, and move forward. Do you remember what you said to Sam after he came off the field? 
Um, I couldn't find Sam. I think Sam was the last one I found. Uh, I just, I just congratulated everybody. What is going through? The TV caught a classic shot of you reacting as Sam's running down the field. What's going through your mind as he's running? yelling at? all those people just to block somebody, you know, it looked like Mark Andrews was going to run down and, and we had a whole caravan of people. And, and, uh, that's what was going through my mind. Zach, run uh, faster. <laughs> it's tough. You know, you consider it. Well, look at that drive, what Sam probably went through in that drive to be down there. And now you're in a goal line situation. And now someone's been telling, that's why, that's why you do all the, all the summer conditioning. He probably did at Ohio state his entire life, you know, at a mower and all those, all those reps, all reminds that that's why you do it, you know? And, and, uh, for moments like that, to be able to, to be able to finish strong, like you did. And, um, that was, that was awesome for, for the hometown kid to finish it that way. What do you think, Zach? I know you talked last year when you started the new tradition. You said you dreamed about taking game balls around the city. I'm not trying to pin you down to that right now, but yeah. have you thought about continuing that tradition? Oh, I know I'm continuing that tradition. Yeah, that, that tradition's never going to die. Is that tonight? You go out? That's tonight, yeah. You have a spot in mind well, If you guys keep holding me out, maybe the bar. I don't know what time <laughs> bars close here. Uh, um, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll find one. Would you make some new bars this year? Yeah, we, we we got a good thing going, you know, and and we'll. I'm not going to reveal all that right now, but but uh, we want to include as many people as possible. What do you make of Burrow's performance given with the offensive line, given the defense? How, how was he tonight? So some of the plays that that people aren't going to real, you know, the third and one play when we were I don't know on our minus thirty, um, we got zone coverage. The play was a disaster, and for him just on the sprint out to reverse course and gets the first down really is a is a play that should get more. Um, uh, Storylines than than realized because it was it was a, a bad play versus a bad look, and he just kind of willed it to happen, and and I, I again I don't have the stats in front of me but that's probably the possession we scored on in the third quarter you know and so for that one to get us started there on third and one when he scrambles for that and all of a sudden we go down there and eight points if we don't get that drive then who knows how the game goes from there it's a three and out and we're punting but um, you know he just makes plays like that that just kind of will us to victory did a great job on the throw to Hayden that got us out of the one yard line um, that was a great um, you know he he took a play made an adjustment. And, and that's why he was able to hit Hayden. He recognized the coverage. And so, again, he just makes special plays like that. And, and uh, you know, that's what we need in this playoff time. How big of a drive was that to establish some momentum after losing Jonah? You go up 9 up, yeah. count 10 9, just to kind of. Yeah, it was big. I mean, you know, it's, it's our defense got us that stop. And then I think that possession took us all the way down to five minutes in the third quarter. You know, it was a pretty time consuming possession. Um, it gives you, a, 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 you know, feel like you're in, in decent control there. So it was a big procession. Yeah. Coach, you, uh, the difference between this year and last year, I mean, last year, the first playoff win in 30 years, I mean, obviously it's just as exciting. Does it feel a little different? Is it uh, also, I guess, the first uh, Bengal team to win playoff games in back to back years? What does nice. all that mean? Well, it's, it's special. You know, there's, there's such a tremendous history here. Um, and so you don't take anything for granted in this league of. Um, it really, at this point, doesn't matter what seed you are. Every game is going to be a dogfight, and and we knew that. And we were going to get their best shot, and they gave it to us. And our guys found a way to win. Um, is it different than last year? Winning's just fun. You know, we work so hard. This, this season is so long. You go through all the peaks and valleys that I go through with all the people in this room here, here every step of the way. And um, so then you get to the playoffs, and and it can all be over in a heartbeat. And um, our guys didn't want that to happen, and so they they found a way to to move on to the next week. Zach, I know you want to be looking ahead and game planning yet, but the game that was lost against the Bills, how, how meaningful and special is it in some ways to have a chance to play that game again? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, I feel like two deserving teams. And uh, Buffalo is one of the, the greatest environments to go play in all football. You know, I've, I've been there many, many times and um, it's, it's a fun environment. It's a worthy playoff environment. And so our, our guys are gonna be juiced up and ready to go. And it should be a heck of a game. All right, thank you.